Okay, I had an HVAC technician remove all of the refrigerant from this system so I could safely cut the lines without any problem, which I have done already. Got to just clean them up a little bit. I just cut them roughly until I dismount the compressor and that. But we're going to test it out now and see if it will generate any pressure or what kind of refrigerant oil it's going to spew out or all kinds of great stuff like that. We'll turn the thermostat off. Put it between speeds so the fan doesn't spoil the fun. And uh, nice! We have airflow. You can hear that kind. Does it pressurize? It does. Gets a little angry when it does that. I don't know how long I can keep my thumb on it. About that long. So this will work. And if I shut it, it stops. Will it restart? It will. No problem. So, all I have to do is disconnect all the wires in here, um, take the capacitor, and basically hardwire the plug, one to common, the other one to the common of the compressor, which is actually right there. Uh, the start winding goes to the Herm side, which is this white wire here, or the red wire, I'm sorry, and uh, all kinds of shit like that. The red is the common, because you can see that's on the common terminal. This is still live, so I'm being careful. And the Herm, I don't know if you can read it down in there, is the white wire, and there's that. And the black goes to the white, which goes to that, and then gets connected to some other crap, and I'll figure out the wiring pretty easily. And that's it. Three bolts to remove the compressor, and then it's free. Tools of mass destruction, including the most important tool in your arsenal. Just took apart the control box, removed the fan and cool switch, took the uh, thermostat out, and pretty much what's left is to unbolt this. You don't need that in the way. So just get a socket. I have a long extension which will be plenty long enough to, to go in there. And uh, we'll get the compressor unbolted. Once we do that I'll show you how the wiring goes quick. Pretty much you just anything you're gonna break in the circuit you just put back together and you'll be fine. Real easy. Real easy. I'll have my shop dummy take this out. Shop dummy. Pretty, I mean, there's not much holding it there. So I don't know what you can see or not because I can't see the camera. But uh, we're going to undo that bolt or screw or stud or nut. It looks like a stamped nut. Oh, it's already out, whatever it is. Yeah. Take that one out. Probably not going to reuse those anyway, so. Ooh, that's actually still pretty hot. That's it, and for all intents and purposes, the entire compressor ought to just lift out of the unit at this point. Which I can't do holding the camera, so take the camera a second. There we go, except for the fan wires. But the entire compressor is free. Nice rubber mounts on it for some washers. Those are good to have, you know, never know. Mm. These probably not gonna be able to reuse. And uh, now we have freed the compressor. So that's awesome. Here's the thermostat. 
this just shorts between these two so we basically are gonna pull that completely out of circuit by just disconnecting it so we remember where everything goes repurpose that if you want and now I have that this was the wire that went here when you turn the switch on it shorts to that so we can pull this off of there okay and now all these three go to the fan so we don't need that kind there's a common also that goes to the fan from the capacitor so all three of these can be disconnected and the other one just break this stuff here quick off the capacitor can come off as well so we'll pull that now that's free from there so now we basically have to hook back up we're not going to use the fan terminal anymore because there's no fan we have a Herman com and that's what we're going to use now if we get back here if you remember just a moment ago this was connected to the switch which shorted to that short uh, white jumper wire across to that then it went to the thermostat and jumped to the black wire so these two get connected back together and just so I don't forget what I'm doing we're simply gonna cut these like that strip them quickly I'll do the connections nice another time just to see if I could strip it with these crummy strippers quickly there we are wiring in strip that okay that like that these get twisted together and that re-establishes what we had before and now because that's the hot wire this is the common that's going to go on the common terminal here just like that or rather this is I'm sorry this is the this is the hot wire and this is the neutral which goes in like that they just decided to wire it like that so with any luck I have wired this correctly and uh, we'll we'll blip it quick and see if it works yeah everything is correct here firm wire common wire from the um, capacitor and neutral blows up. Nope, she runs. That's about what it would sound like under load. Magic smoke. <laughs> Love that kind. only 120 volts it'll only light you up a little bit it's not that dangerous but anyway that's it whole rest of it disconnected garbage scrap shut her down that's it part two of this will commence another time whenever that happens and I'll see how to mount this on the old Harbor Freight air compressor and uh, obviously I'll trim all the lines and make everything fancy and mount this up with a cable tie or some crap like that. In fact, it had a bracket somewhere, a plastic bracket, but here, this thing. I don't think that's going to do much good. <laughs> Specifically made in China for you. Oh, make plastic feet to hold capacitor. I think that's very good. Okay. <laughs> we'll uh, mount it in so the corner. Next time, we will mount a compressor into a Harbor Freight Chinese air compressor that died because made in China. So till next time, thank you for watching. Make sure you click like, 
make sure you click subscribe and take care. We see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.